All right, guys, we're going to be doing the practice and problem solving for our uh, lesson 7-5. Let's begin. Uh, we're doing number six first. It says Oliver is playing a game in which he has to choose one of two numbers, two or seven, and then one of five vowels, A, E, I, or U. Uh, how many possible outcomes are there? Well, uh, we know that it's either going to be a two or a seven at the beginning, and then we know the second one has to be, well, A, E, I, O, or U. And if I was to go ahead and choose a seven, same thing, A, E, I, O, or U. This gives us, uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten possible outcomes. We could have found it easy by simply taking the two options that we had and multiplying it to the five options we had afterwards. Two times five equals ten. Number seven says there are four stores that sell school supplies. Uh, S1, store number one, store number two, store number three, and store number four. And uh, the three stores that sell sporting goods, uh, so this is uh, store number one, store number two, store number three. How many possible combinations of stores could you visit to buy a tennis racket and then a backpack? Well, let's see. Uh, first of all, we know there's one, two, three stores that are going to sell this uh, tennis racket, right? Because it's a sporting goods store. Uh, and then there is one, two, three, four different stores where we could find a backpack. And that would make one, two, three, four. Well, that's three times four, right? Because each of these could be one of those stores after going to the uh, sporting store, number one. Any one of those four uh, school supply stores, we could go there. Uh, or the same with going after sporting goods store number two or sporting goods store number three. That makes one, two, three times one, two, three, four, and that's 12 possible out, uh, possible combinations. Uh, number eight says, um, a bakery sells wheat, multigrain, rye, and oat bread. Well, that's four different types of bread. Each type of bread is available as a loaf or as dinner rolls, okay? Loaf or rolls. Please uh, complete the table to show all of the possible outcomes for the type uh, and styles of bread sold by the bakery. Well, we got four combinations here that can be each either a loaf or a roll. That could be wheat or loaf. This could be wheat or rolls. This could be multigrain or loaf. This would be multigrain or roll. This would be rye or loaf, and this would be rye or roll. This would be oat or loaf, and this would be oat or, uh, or oat as a roll. So there are our possible combinations. Find the number of combinations. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four times two gives us eight possible combinations. Number nine says, how does the number of possible outcomes of a single event help you determine the total number of possible outcomes of a compound event? Well, that's pretty easy. The product of the numbers of possible outcomes of each single event is equal to the number of possible outcomes of the compound event. Number 10, a new car can be purchased with a choice of four exterior colors. A, B, C, or D. Those are the four different colors. And three interior colors, one, two, and three. Make an organized list of all the possible color combinations. Well, that's going to be A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, or D1, D2, and D3. And that, of course, is going to give us four times three that's going to give us 12 possible combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, Number 11 says, two friends each plan to order a fruit drink at the dinner. Uh, the available flavors are kiwi, lemon, and watermelon. 
make a list to represent all the possible outcomes of the friend's fruit drink orders. Write each outcome in the format. Well, we could have kiwi and kiwi. Remember, there's two friends. They could both order kiwi. One could order kiwi and one could order lemon. One could order kiwi and one could order watermelon. Then we could say that the first one, maybe he ordered lemon. And the second one could order kiwi or lemon or watermelon. The last combination would be that the first friend ordered watermelon and then the second one ordered kiwi, lemon, or watermelon. That's going to give us a nine uh, or three times three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number 12 says plastic souvenir cups come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, which we will label S, M, and L. The available co uh, colors are red, white, and blue. Make a list to represent all the possible combinations. Well, there are three different sizes, three different colors, three times three. That tells me there's going to be nine combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It could be small and red, small and white, small and blue, medium and red, medium and white, medium and blue, or large and uh, red, large and white, large and blue. Number 13 says, uh, Heidi's older sister needs to take either chemistry, geometry, or physics this year. She can take the class during any one of the six periods, one through six. Is there more than one way to draw a tree to model the situation? Hmm, I think so. Uh, you can make a tree diagram with each subject at the top and the numbers one through six as the branches, which would represent the period. Or you can make the tree diagram with the numbers one through six at the top and each subject as a branch. Both ways provide the same number of outcomes, which would be 18. Six times three is 18. Well, that's the end of our homework. And it looks like uh, that's the end of our book as well. So uh, I'll see you next week where we will start going over different worksheets to prepare for eighth grade. But as for tonight, have a great night and a great weekend. Thanks for all the hard work. Talk to you soon.